Hi guys, so I wanted to film a little video with our team sports psychologist Kath Shearer as I thought she's the best person to talk to and I guess answer some of the questions that you will want to hear about. I think What's really important, and I've spoke about it quite a lot, is finding a new normal. This is our new normal for now, and it won't last forever. But, Kath, what do you think are the kind of key points that people can think about and work on at home? And how can we best kind of manage the situation with everything going on? You're definitely right there. It's definitely a new normal at the minute, Jazz. And um, I think there is definitely a lot of people experiencing a significant transition at the moment whilst we move from what we knew as normal into a new normal. And I think giving yourself the space to do that in the first instance, be kind to yourself, making sure that you're looking after yourself as a person as we move into a new normal is incredibly important. Yeah. Um, For me as well, obviously right now, the first few days it's always like, oh, it's something new. You kind of try and keep busy doing other things and you don't often think about it, but obviously this is a long-term thing for now and we need to try and get those routines in and just finding ways to keep ourselves busy. Obviously there'll be a lot of kids that are off school as well. So mm -hmm. what can they be doing to keep themselves busy but also still trying to think of the end goal that they may have? Yeah, so I think I think re reframing how you're um, viewing this this situation is really key here. So we're um, invariably going to be ending up with a lot more time in our day, um, and you know, not having to train all of the hours that that you guys train every week. There's going to be some some holes to fill. Um, and you know, I was watching your video with Will um, the other day, and there's some great guidance on there in terms of the things that you can be doing, yeah. um, and using this as an opportunity to focus on all of those other things that you need to be doing um, as a swimmer, um, because you know there's so many examples where actually time out of the pool, focusing on some of these other things can actually put you in a great position. Uh, when you end up getting back in the water so focusing on some of those things I think is really key and, and being really clear about what your day looks like um, within that um, you know speak to your coach speak to do whatever you need to do to, to come up with a really good plan so that you're not only continuing with your um, with, with your education work um, but also continuing with all of the stuff that you need to do that will put you in a great position when we do end up coming back into the water. I've said that quite a lot. Mm. We can make so many different gains. And also when we normally have very busy lifestyles, whether it's school, work, um, swimming, training, all those kinds of bits, and we actually neglect some of the other parts that were quite good for us and that we enjoy. And for me, it's like yoga. I've been not been very good at it recently. I've not been giving it the time and I just find myself too busy. But I'm trying to make it a mission every morning to do a bit of yoga just to relax me, but also to kind of stretch me out as well. So I think there are so many different things that we can actually work on, both mentally and physically. Obviously, we've spoken a lot about breathing and confidence and things like that. And now's the time that you can actually use the time to try and work on those smaller things. Absolutely. And, and I think you really hit the nail on the head there. You know, doing something like yoga has so many benefits and it will help mentally as well. Um, you can increase your ability to focus on your breathing and really get your head around how that can help you. Um, we've also talked in some of our um, in some of our videos around imagery and how that can really help you to feel really confident if you're thinking about past performances and how you went about delivering those so now is a great time to sit down and really plan what that looks like in your mind and start practicing some of that um, so that would be massively helpful and and there's plenty of relaxation exercises out there mindful mindfulness apps that you could download and start engaging in and all of those things that when we're really busy we feel like we don't have time for let's get into really good habits of doing some of those things now so that we can make it more likely that we will include some of those things into our programs when things get back up and running again yeah definitely and obviously having the communication again with family coaches making sure even your friends I said because swimming even though it's quite an individual sport you are around a lot of your friends all the time in swimming clubs and things like that it's really about making sure you still have that contact with your friends and making sure that you're still checking in 
absolutely like as we you know we're, we're animals we, we we love human connection we love talking to people and however much of that you need so some people will need more more than others but know what you need and make sure that you do it because it's be really easy to get into this structure where you don't talk to anybody you just stick the tv on yeah. that's not really the best thing to do the best thing to do is to keep to some kind of routine and find ways and and times and schedules when you will actually connect to people and a great opportunity in all this is that we're all learning how to use all of these different platforms to to communicate which is great and and actually another thing that i would say um related to communication is how we're talking about what's going on so you know um when i am speaking to people virtually at the minute there's all this language around lockdown being stuck in being trapped and and whilst that might be factually the case um i would really challenge people to start using different types of language so rather than rather than talking about being you know people are taking the mickey as well and saying we're all grounded and and all of this kind of stuff but let's let's talk about this in a different way let's talk about this in terms of the opportunity let's talk about this in terms of um, what we can get out of it and how lucky we all are to be in our houses and not having to be on the front line and dealing with some of the other stuff that people are dealing with so so let's start being really mindful of how we're talking about it and just monitoring that language and choosing some really helpful language within all of this yeah that's such a good point and i think it also allows us the chance to be creative we can actually mix mm. it up and try out some new things learn some new things just be really creative with what what we what we do um, but we can take a lot away from this and we'll come out stronger. Obviously there will be an end. We can obviously look at that. We know we don't may not know the end right now, but we know that it will be over and we will be able to get back training in the pool. So, um, yeah, absolutely. I think, I think that's a really, really important point. And, um, I've been looking at social media more than I would do ordinarily over the last couple of days. And I've noticed a really, some really lovely examples of, of athletes doing things that they wouldn't ordinarily do before. Um, so for example, Tom Daly was talking about his knitting and, and getting involved in that. Um, and, um, you know, other people were talking about using it as an opportunity to to do to, to learn a new language or do learn some other skill that they've not done before and and I think within that um it's really key to think about what we're grateful for too so Sam Warburton put a post up on Instagram and he listed three things that he was really grateful for that day and I think really engaging in that really looking at what you can do not what you can't do I think is absolutely key yeah, well, I think we have covered most things, but obviously I would say to people, if they've got any questions, get in touch and we can maybe do another video or just try and answer as many questions as possible. But we're all there for you. We all want to support you. And um, yeah, any questions, just send us a message.